What helps me in evolving my art skills is visiting museums and actually making master studies. Just how I examine a painting in a museum, I will execute the same process for my master study. When I walk through a museum, I try to examine only the paintings that move me. I look at the brush strokes that the artist used and try to understand the composition and colors of a painting. I make time to learn a little bit of the story behind it, which really makes me enjoy the painting more. It's almost like an exercise. I ask myself the following questions, like a mental note. Why do I like this or why not? Or how does this painting make me feel? There are a lot of factors that can contribute to this opinion. Maybe a specific era or movement that the painting was made in, or the different kinds of brushstrokes the painter used. Maybe the combination of colors that could be beautiful in my eyes, but not through somebody else's eyes. By asking myself these questions, I get a greater understanding of my own taste in art that can be reflected in my own work. When making a master study, I start by doing a bit of research on the artist. What was their life like? And what is the story or meaning behind this painting? Sometimes I want to know what their signature techniques were, what mediums they used and if they first made an underpainting. How in-depth the study goes is of course up to myself. I try to attempt to the best of my abilities to replicate the masterwork. But on the contrary, I also get carried away really easily and like to just go with my own feeling. This magical painting from Sargent that I chose to make a master copy of is called Carnation Lily Lily Rose. The dimensions of the real painting are 1 meter 74 by 1 meter 54. Because I want to create this study from a picture in a book, I will make a small version of the original. This gives me a few disadvantages, such as not being able to really achieve the kind of brushstrokes that I want. And of course, not going into too much detail. But creating a small version is going to be hard enough for me, and I'm actually nervous to start out. But then I have to remember to just relax, have fun with it, and learn from this experience.
This painting was a very important painting in the life of Sargent, in a time when Impressionism slowly became more accepted. It's a painting where you can see two little girls in a garden lighting paper lanterns. Sargent created this painting between 1885 and 1886, over two summers in twilight. The two girls are daughters of a friend of Sargent, wearing white summer dresses. You can actually see the glowing face from the girl on the left coming from the orange glowing lanterns. The girls are surrounded by carnations, white lilies and pink and white roses on the sides, in contrast with the dark green and blue colors from all the leaves and stems. The way he used all the right colors to create this light effect is amazing, almost luminous. I can't imagine all the work that Sargent put into this painting, starting by repeatedly setting up all his painting supplies, painting outside with a very short window of time because he wanted to capture this beautiful moment of twilight. He had to work very quickly when the light was exactly right. I created this painting over a period of two weeks because I had to work a lot at my part-time job. So every time I got off from work, I rushed home, sat behind my desk and I could paint for maybe one or two hours before it got dark. So a couple of times I painted in twilight myself, which wasn't very convenient because the colors can be deceiving when the sun goes down. You can also see how important it was for me if I first started out with the background or even made an underpainting before I started. After I painted the background I immediately saw that I had to darken the colors on the dress, hands and faces. It was very interesting to see that my perception of the values of the dress were too light because I didn't have a background with the right value. The background of a painting plays an important role for me in color perception and especially in this painting where colors were created in a moment of twilight. When I got to the end of my painting process, I still had the feeling that I could work on this painting for another couple of weeks just to perfect every little detail. But I also noticed that I didn't have the concentration and energy anymore, like I had in the beginning. So I decided that I will leave it like it is now and close this chapter, and that's okay. 
By creating this painting, I learned some valuable lessons that I will take with me to my new painting project.